Okay, if you would, tell me, sir, who are you and what do you do? So, my name is Andre Futuro. Um, I work for ClearSale. It's um, a fraud uh, detection prevention uh, company. Okay. We are from Brazil, uh, founded about 25 years ago, and we expanded uh, to Latin America and uh, U the US. And uh, my responsibilities in the company are on uh, partnerships and alliances uh, nice. worldwide. Nice. What do you think are going to be? What do you think is going to be like one of the bigger trends in retail this coming year? <clears throat> so, well, at least from from here, what I'm seeing is that there's a lot of discussions on the on the the way to come back to the brick and mortar. Mm. Um, so, when uh, big companies like Macy's uh, how they reinvent themselves and uh, they don't want to give up on brick and mortar or many of them don't want to give up on brick and mortar mainly because it reduces also transactions on the on the online side. Mm -hmm. So the combination on both and how to uh, combine the online side with the zip codes where you put your, your source zip codes is, I saw a lot of discussion on that sense. Um, interesting and um, I think it's a, a, a good discussion, a good ground for us to discuss uh, worldwide because it's it's new for everyone, right? How to do it? So there are a lot of uh, new companies that are only online that are testing the brick and mortar, and old ones that uh, need to, to change completely how they do the brick and mortar side. So that I think is one of the trends uh, on the discussions. Uh, that one, I would say, uh, around uh, ES, uh, ESG and um, and inclusion and uh, proposed um, purpose. Uh, this is a key because this is a key selling point at moon for the new generation and how the brands associate to that and communicate it and uh, not only communicate but own that uh, that uh, that brand that uh, flag I would say it's gonna be key for this year also hmm. I think these are two interesting things I'm saying uh, from from the from the conversations here in terms of workforce I know a lot of companies are ch are struggling trying to get new re workers, trying to get a lot of workers, especially in the retail space. Uh, what kind of uh, challenges are you seeing and how are companies dealing with those challenges? <clears throat> so that's that's true and uh, mainly because during the pandemic, uh, the workforce migrated other things, right? Yeah. And they're not coming back. So it's again one thing that uh, they need to reinvent themselves and uh, fr from the from the stands downstairs, I saw many ideas on the automation side mm -hmm. and uh, how you can use AI and automation to do part of the, the labor that uh, used to be done before by people. Um, but yeah, I, that part I know mostly from what I'm seeing here from, from, from the event, not so much from what I do usually. <laughs> sure, sure. Do you think these changes are permanent or these are just sort of... I think changes, um, I, I won't say changes are permanent because nothing's permanent. But uh, what I see is that we're not going back to the way it was before, that's for sure. Uh, so we will do changes now and probably we're going to change again in a couple of years with a different perspective and uh, different things that work. What happens is yeah. that the new generations, they had, um, they had the glitch mm -hmm. during part of their creation, their, their uh, formation. And uh, we'll see a, a big difference on, on the way they behave, the way they buy, the way, the way they interact with, with brands. So that change is going to impact still a lot of other things that we do. Very cool. Well, I appreciate your insight. Thank you for your time. Oh, thank you.